down to business. My down to business persona. So what does a typical day at OSOM consist of for me? Well, who's gonna see this? I think any new grad, especially in geology, wants to jump right into a job that's exciting, fast paced, and where you get the chance to make a difference really fast. And at a company like OSIM, which has experienced so much growth and is still growing, uh, you have the opportunity to make an impact really fast. And, and that's one of the things that, that I was looking for and that I've already had the chance to do here. You know, once we have our coffee and, and chit chat a little bit, we're basically into lunch. And so, you know, come to think of it, during any given week, I probably work 45 or 50 minutes. Sure. <laughs> if OSIM was a piece of office furniture, it would be a desk. <laughs> it would be a coffee maker. Everybody likes it. Okay, so what do I usually do? Or what do I really do here? Well, as a geophysicist, we have acquired a number of 3D surveys, a large number of uh, 2D seismic lines, and it's my job to put those all together, um, interpret them, and create the appropriate maps that we can use for uh, setting out our pilot wells, and then, of course, uh, planning for the development that we're going to be uh, putting uh, in place here in the next couple of years. Well, on any given day, I probably show up 15 or 20 minutes late. Um, I don't want to get caught, so I, I, I sneak in the back door and uh, slink off to my office. <laughs> With Khaled, who's like, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so, my name is Megan Tompkins. I'm the communications coordinator here at Olsen Oil Sands. The cool thing about being communications and public relations is you're guaranteed to have the best job in the whole organization. You do so many different things on a regular basis, no day is ever the same. Um, the people you deal with and your contacts are always changing, the events and projects that you're working on, always different. And you get to work with people from every different part of the organization. One day you may be working on a financial document, and the next day you may be cutting a ribbon at a playground. Everything changes and it's so much fun. Rub shoulders with on a daily basis. Coming to a company with so many experienced employees is, is a great place to learn daily and really soak up a lot from what everybody brings to the table. You know, I've been working here for about two and a half, almost three years, and, and it's just been such a dynamic work environment and every day has been a challenge. You know, as, as our projects start to become uh, full-fledged projects here, our team is going to continue to grow and expertise is going to grow and um, we're just going to be in a good environment here, in a very fertile environment. Um, and we're also hiring, um, you know, young students now, summer students like Sadid, um, and we just hired a, a new grad, um, Garrett. So, you know, the team's changing, and we also have a lot of senior people, so we can pull on their wealth of information. So these are rocks that actually we've collected on various field trips that we've gone on with OSIM. So these ones are from Nevada. These are pieces of calcite that came out of a vein. We were on a field course in Nevada last year, doing some work up there in the mountains. There might be a, a, a misperception that at a smaller company you won't have the opportunity to do training like you would at a larger company, but that you know hasn't been the case and doesn't seem to be the case. I've got great support from my managers as far as training goes, so I'll be getting the same training that a recent grad would get at a larger company. and at the same time having a chance to make a real difference on projects. Basically, uh, my background is science and I'm applying uh, my knowledge and my skill that I learned over the years to the uh, recovery of uh, you know, uh, bitumen in the oil sand and the carbonates. And uh, currently my biggest focus is uh, on the uh, Salaski carbonate. You have to be flexible, um, hardworking, and up for a challenge. Um, I think you have to be ready to do a little bit more than that's in your traditional box because we're growing and we need people to help out um, when we need help. And, but a fun person. <laughs> yeah. One of the little things in the office that makes a big difference to me definitely the people so being able to work with somebody and being able to trust their work that you don't have to worry about people not pulling their weight or people not 
uh, being uh, available for you, we really don't have that problem here. Everybody really is working towards the same goal. One thing that makes OSOM pretty unique is um, sort of the, the balance of a real tangible asset that's you know, quite close to production up in Coal Lake and um, the risky, uh, more risky, uh, but more rewarding um, carbonate plays up at Selesky. So from that perspective, it's, um, it's a fun place to be because there is a certain degree of uh, comfort with one of our core assets and then a lot of, a lot of upside uh, one of our other assets. And it also, you know, with all these new developing plays that require a lot of research and development, um, we've got a lot of nerds in the office, a lot of doctors, um, and it's interesting, I kind of think of myself as a reasonably smart person, but to be honest with you, I'm probably the dumbest person here. So uh, you always try to surround yourself with smarter people in order to be successful. <laughs> yeah, we're all set. <laughs> if you're looking for a long-term growth, a Canadian company with a group of people that have a broad range of interests and uh, skills and are actually going to put a facility together that will produce over a billion barrels of oil in the next few years. This isn't going to happen overnight, but we're putting the plans together to do it now. Uh, we're at the beginning stages. That's why we're a startup, but we're actually going to pull this off. Is that exciting or what? And if you want to be a part of that, now is the time to get in.